you today the hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium the tension palpable it's inter they take on milan next on ea tv Well, Milan were founded back in 1899, while Inter were born nine years after that. It is one of the great rivalries in European club football. Milan against Inter, coming up from the San Siro. Derek Ray in the commentary position, joined by Stuart Robson. And Stuart, we always relish these duels. Absolutely. Here we are at the San Siro for the greatest of derbies. I love this game. Both clubs have such a wonderful history. Let's hope I'm not disappointed. at the Inter team Jan Zoma is the goalkeeper Francesco Acerbi plays alongside Alessandro Bastoni in central defence Nicolo Barella plays with Henrik Mkhitaryan in the centre of midfield and leading the attack today Lautaro Martinez plays together with Alexis Sanchez Here's the Milan team. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions. And the starting role in attack is handed to Olivier Giroud. And so the battle commences. Teo Hernandez. Rafael Leao. Tomori. Now with Caldara. Calabria. And Milan moving the ball with purpose. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Federico Di Marco Mkhitaryan well that's how to put in a clean tackle well not the pass he had in mind Losing possession. Teo Hernandez. Oh, he's given the ball away. Musa. Hernandez. And Giroud waits to fire. And well off target in the end. Good pressure from the defender to put him off. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. Caldara and Milan unable to retain possession yeah. 
Di Marco. The defender coming out on top in the battle with Alexis Sanchez. It's a good inter move in the making. Sanchez. Real chance. Couldn't quite hang on. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Okafor. Matia Caldara. Hernandez. And played in. Well, he got his head on it, but not quite right. Keeper blunder. Well, making amends is all part of the game. Well, no wonder he looks relieved. That could have proved costly. Well, pressing really high. Leao. Tomori. And he read it well. Chalanolu. Couldn't keep the ball. Barella. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Terrific save. Well, that's a top class save. He read it so well. Short corner taken. A fine block. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. A goal! Inter take the lead in the derby. And how much does it mean to them? Just listen. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. And Milan looking dangerous. Giroud. Benasser. Leao. And the cross goes in. Well, the keeper wasn't fooled by it at all, in actual fact. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Well, no let up, plenty of pressure. And there we have it, the first half comes to an end here at the San Siro. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field. And I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes.
potentially fascinating 90 minutes ahead of us and Milan get the ball rolling and played in well he got his head on it but not quite right Well, it's advantage Inter after the first 45 minutes, but a long way from the issue being settled here. And nicely cut out. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. Good pass. And teammates to play it to. Well, it was a risky challenge, but brilliantly executed. Teo Hernandez. Rafael Leao. Calabria. Will he play it in? Well, clattered away. <laughs> Benasser. Well, they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Well, there you can see Inter haven't been able to control the possession. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. Mkhitaryan. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? And support available. Sanchez and a textbook interception Okafor and Inter have it once again Dumfries Sanchez opportunity Play shows this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. away again and a 2-0 advantage here Benassa Tommaso Bobega an unforced error you've got to say and in with a real chance oh he saved it well excellent from the keeper that's a really top class save they decided that now is the time to go to the bench. And he's fired over the corner. Struggling to get it away. What a vital intervention. Well, he tried in vain to get himself back onside. Well, he needs to show greater awareness there and hold on to the ball a fraction longer. 
And the substitution will occur now. And intercepts again. A foul, but advantage played. Okafor. And Pulisic has it, and not cleared away properly. And relief as the keeper holds on. Well, he reacts so quickly, doesn't he? That's a great bit of work from him. Oh, they've lost it. Chalanolu. And threading it forward. Well, high and more than a bit hopeful. Well, the referee took note of the earlier infringement and a booking it is now. Ten minutes to go then. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. And cleared behind for what is going to be a corner kick. Time for a change then. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Francesco Acerbi. Di Marco. Oh, he's given the ball away. Pulisic. Well, good defending, clattered out of there. Hernandez. Simple for the keeper. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Pulisic. Options in the middle. So the final whistle and real disappointment for Milan and their supporters around the world. They've lost this game. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, I thought it was a subpar performance from them. Just didn't look as sharp as normal. And I don't think they deserved anything from the game. They need to get a better performance in next time out. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's made his presence felt in attack, Stuart. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him. potentially fascinating 90 minutes ahead of us and Milan get